<laughs> okay, everyone. Location number three is the kitchen. And I'm still drinking. Yep, that's right. Taking my sip of my brandy julep. And I'm very happy to have Chef Pam hailing all the way from Ottawa with us. And we're going to learn some things today. I'm going to cook something I've never cooked before. And we're going to talk and cook and make sure if you are cooking with us, I do need pictures at the end. And if you know anything about me, you know that my personal Instagram is all food because I love to eat and I love to cook. So I'm ready. Pam, it's all yours. All right. Okay, do you need me to do any like introduction or anything? Or you, you can you can tell everyone about who you are while we're cooking, everything like that. <laughs> All right. Hey everyone. Um, good evening. I'm Pam. And I am a chef by I guess night, afternoon, whenever. And by day I work full time as a project coordinator in the healthcare industry. And I really love cooking, clearly you can tell. So I will show you how to prepare a Nigerian dish. Um, it's called Nigerian soup. And it goes with almost everything, wherever you find yourself in the world. So um, right here, I will just move my phone. I move this closer. So right here, as mentioned, I have my chicken. It's already cooked and I have my stock. I have the tomato paste. So this is the one I used. Um, it's a small one. So I, perfect. <laughs> so I have that in the plate. Um, and then I have some tomatoes, the scotch bonnet pepper, the bell pepper, and half, half an onion. And then I have the other half chopped up. And then I have, um, Salt, like a few other things here. I have the blender, oil, um, and then I have the spot. So I would recommend using a pot with a lead so that um, you could avoid the splashes later on when they start. Okay. All I'm right. ready. <laughs> okay, I put this back here. One second. Okay, it gives me time to take a sip. That's okay. So this is my first time. Um, where can we find the mixology and stew recipes? It's actually in the reception section. If you click on reception, um, Brooke, you will see the recipes there. And we're also going to post these videos so that you are able to um, follow through with us. So Pam, it's back to you. I think your camera just went off though. And you're, you're muted. You're muted. Yeah. I'm excited to also know everyone, drop in the comments what kind of stews you've either tried to make or have tried to eat. Because for me in, in Jamaica, our stew is like stew peas or we, you know, like we have stew chicken, but that's not really considered a stew in the traditional sense. Um, but stew peas is our thing. But yeah, uh, Pam, back to you. I don't know, I think, let's see, something might be going on with her mic. Your mic is muted. But I cannot. Brown stew fish. I yes, Sue. I love some fish. So okay, Yvette, you've had Nigerian stew. Got it. This will be my first time, so I'm very excited about it. I think we lost Pam. She's gonna log back in. No worries. We can we can talk while she does that. I kind of pre-cut everything. I feel like I probably shouldn't have cut it all up like that. But like I cut up my tomatoes. I cut up my peppers. I cut up my onions and then I have the scotch bonnets whole because I know about that. Uh, stew peas with bits of, bits of pork and dumpling. Yes, Rohan, you know what I'm talking about. The pigtail and the little spinners. That's how we do things. That is one of my guilty, you know, things to eat. I, I love it so much. Yes, Kamisha, you know, you know. Oh, okay, I think I lost I lost connection for a second. It's okay. so we're back. back. Can you hear me? We're back. Okay, yes. perfect. So, <laughs> all right. So I put this back on here, and then let me get started. Okay, I'll move this closer. So we're gonna start with these. I already have them washed. Um, Drainy, can you see? 
Yes, I can see everything. Okay. Okay. All right. So I have a blender and I am going to just put everything in the blender. So I'm going to use half of the bell. I had like a large bell pepper. So I'm going to use half of it. Well, so I'm going to put that in the blender. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you're going to cut it into like small um, portions to make okay. it easier to blend. Special shout out to Sue and Dujane. Thanks for my birthday gift of Vitamix because that's what I'm using. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm going to use one. I like spicy, but it depends on your level of tolerance. But you could use half of this or you could use one if you want it more spicy. Toss that in there. And then, like I said, everything. <laughs> Let me know if I'm going too fast. No, 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 that's good. And then the okay. tomatoes. So I'm just taking out the yes, I'm just taking out the head and then mm -hmm. I am going to cut it into two, throw it in there, and then same thing. I might have already diced my tomatoes, so it'll make it easier because I diced them all this morning. That's good. <laughs> I'm an overachiever. I just didn't oh. want to prepare too much <laughs> given the time we had. Okay, quickly wash this. So um, before I started, I already washed my hands before you hit the broadcast button. So just FYI. <laughs> I don't know why I took out two and... stalks of peppers. I am not that brave in life. So I'm gonna put this one back. Um, one is good enough, people. If anyone out there is good, yes. let me know how that goes for you. Trust me, one is good for you. For me, I can go extra because I like spicy, but don't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so I have three of the tomatoes and then I have the onion in there. Um, quickly wash my hands with chicken. Okay. Put that away. Okay, so for the water, for the water, I would say, two seconds. Let's see, about a half cup of water. Half a cup? Okay. I'm eyeballing. Uh, let's see. Actually, we'll do one because it's a little bit too little. So one cup of water, just to get going. You guys definitely listen to Pam. Don't watch me because I am not a measurer. <laughs> I just kind of throw things in and I'm like, you know. <laughs> Duane, you should have told me. I'm not a measurer too. I just go, go, go. <laughs> but for the sake of this, we'll use measurements. Okay. Okay, so I am going to blend this. It might be noisy, but bear with me. All right, I'm going to blend too. <laughs> Well, mine's not there yet. You're quick. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So it shouldn't be like puree. It should just be like a little mush, right? Yeah. So like crushed tomato. Yeah, that's good. So you okay. can do it. Do a little bit more if you want. Okay, I'll just do mine one more time. Let me see. Y'all, I can smell the peppers. I think that's pretty Ooh. good. You, <laughs> you, you can go one more time and then that's it for you. Okay. Okay. this I might need a trip to Nigeria yo oh that smells good I can smell the spice a lot of mercy um, Pam you're muted so I have stuff stuck on the bottom so I'm gonna use my wooden spoon to just get it out so that everything can blend I think I'm pretty good there. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Ooh, 
Okay, I think that's good. So the base for a Nigerian stew is usually the tomato, the pepper, um, the the onion. Um, the red bell pepper is pretty much a substitute for um, a Nigerian pepper called tatashi, but it's not here. You don't find it here often, so that the bell pepper is a really good substitute for that. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna move to the pot. <laughs> okay. And move this away. Okay, one second. I think it's getting. I feel like I might need to cut up more stuff because I just kind of threw everything in the blender. So I'm gonna do it while you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna start with putting the oil. Um so this is a quarter cup of oil and you just have to pour it in your pot or your pan. And then I will turn up my heat to just medium heat. Okay. And then I'm gonna pour my chopped onion in there. See, that's what I use all of the chopped onion. But it's okay, I have more. <laughs> I'm always prepared. That's okay. And I can chop it quickly. You know, I'm no master chef, yeah, but I like I like, work. <laughs> I like to chop mine fine, so that's why I decided to do it ahead of time. And then, um, let's see. Okay. I'm working on the onions, everyone. You there? Okay. Yep, I'm here. <laughs> All right. So there's no like particular way to make the stew, but like I said, the base, just having the base is good enough. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of curry powder. Um, a teaspoon of curry powder? Yep. Okay. Um, no, I like to use rosemary in mine too, but that's just me. <laughs> so I got and I bought all the herbs, okay? All the herbs. <laughs> yeah, so I put the same like half a tea look, like a teaspoon of rosemary as well. And then Okay, so onions are in the pan. Sue, I see you saying that you want some of the stew. Why aren't you cooking your own stew? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and then we're gonna do the garlic powder too, like half like a teaspoon, sorry. I keep saying half, I don't know why. Teaspoon and maybe just a little bit more. Okay. And then okay. salt. Trying to be prepared. Same um, teaspoon. You said about a half a teaspoon of curry powder. Like a, um, a teaspoon of curry powder, a teaspoon of rosemary, a teaspoon of garlic, and like about half or a little more than half a teaspoon of salt. Depends on how much salt you like. And I don't know if I put this on the list too, but I like to throw in bay, leaf, bay leaf in there or two. So if you have that, you could always toss it in the pot. Okay. And time. I'm turning my eyes because gonna do the same you know, thing. I got it from my mama. Teaspoon. Okay, you said rosemary. <laughs> so about a teaspoon of rosemary, time. or can I just put like the sprigs? Should I should I cut it up the rosemary? Yes, you can use a spring. Okay. Um, let me see what you have. I have like the no 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 you can just toss it in there yeah I see what you have you can just toss it in there just for flavor and for all flavor. that and then you can take it out when you're oh, when you're serving brilliant brilliant yeah okay. yeah yep yeah. because I have I have the dried one so it's easier it's easier to use um what else so we already have the seasons in there and there's something else I like to use um so this is maggie so this is a soft like this is what we use in nigeria but um 
We use that in Jamaica. Here, you too. could also use the boot. You do? Look at yes, that. Yes, Maggie so is our, we live and breathe, too. Maggie, okay? <laughs> Naveen, I got a trip you coming to. She's going to be bomb. <laughs> Okay, so I just put okay, so I'm gonna put half. Yeah, I'm gonna put about half of it right now, and then maybe later I might add some, just because we put salt already. Yeah. And I don't want it to be too salty, so I put half of the Maggie. So if you have a bouillon cube as well, like the chicken or the beef, whatever flavor you have, you could put half of it. Um, what else? This basin. Okay, so. I will just stir a little bit in the pot and then I will turn the heat up. Just, I had it on medium, so I'm gonna increase it just a little bit so it can simmer quick. Ooh, Got to move quick, like Dorinia said today. <laughs> yes, I'm taking pictures of my stages all, because you know. Awesome. I like to show up. <laughs> Yeah. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to let you know I'm going to serve it with rice and plantain when it's done. It could go with pretty much any side. So like you could have potatoes, you could have plantains, um, rice, pretty much anything you have for a side. <laughs> okay. All right. Mine is time, but... uh, Rohane, just so you know, I'm almost done my beverage and I, I know now how to make another one. Just cheers on that. Rohan, why did I say Rohan? Rohan, <laughs> I guys. Okay, let's see what's going on. How's yours coming, Dwayne? It looks good. I feel like I need to uh, show you guys on the on the computer. Give me a second. I'm trying not to drop it. <laughs> But this is what I'm working with. Okay. It's sizzling. Ooh. Good. I think mine's sizzling too. That looks really good. You're a good student. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. That's what all the teachers said. <laughs> you know. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. All right, so I'm gonna pour the base in there. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Ready? Okay, I'll do that. We heard the sizzle. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Oops. Yeah, this is not really balanced right now, but. Oh yeah. Oh my. Okay. okay, so Dorania, this is what it looks like, okay? And I just mm. stirred it just a little bit. I'm sure yours looks like that too. <laughs> I'm gonna stir it and then show everyone what, what mine looks like. I feel like you have more tomatoes and you have the good tomatoes. You have like the good Roma red tomatoes. And I you just like- know this. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the difference. So I'm gonna show you guys mine because I just kind of picked up the tomatoes that were on the vine. I should have picked the Roma tomatoes, gotcha. but oh, I'm trying to do this. Gotcha. This is so difficult. There you go. I know it's tricky. Oh, that, that's, that's good, that's good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna cover this up and let it cook for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna keep watch of it so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. Carlina, you're stopping by my driveway to get your share. I see how you do. That's all right, girl. That's all right. <laughs> and FYI, I'm pre-drinking for uh, the shindig. <laughs> Thanks, Quest. Ooh, uh, you have a request, Pam, for some Jollof rice. You better follow her on Instagram because I'm following that too because I know <laughs> there's a whole little situation about which Jollof rice is better. And I am not getting involved. I'm just oh, there to eat. Oh, not another word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's fine. <laughs> I am there to eat it. <laughs> it's just the same for us West Indians, right? Oh. Because just like how we all have stews, we all have a rice dish that we think ours is the best. So 
for us in Jamaica, we love seasoned rice. Peas. Peas. <laughs> we do this Aki seasoned rice thing that's hands down. Kamisha, if you're on here still, please. Um, wait, y'all, you are, wait a second, y'all. <laughs> Hold on. Mine doesn't even look like that. You're cooking with us. Yay. Uh, is the tomato paste supposed to be in there oh. yet? No. I still no, have not yet. So we're letting this cook for about 10 minutes and then we're going to stir and then we'll, we'll just let it dry out a little bit before we put the tomato paste and the everything. Tomato paste. Okay. <laughs> um, people are saying you have to start delivering after this. She's in Ottawa, people. Hey, follow me. Launching soon, March the 14th. Look at that. Look at that. So be ready for her launch. Make sure you're following her on IG. She is Pam's underscore cuisine. And yeah, I definitely want to see the finished product. I definitely want to um, see everyone who's cooking. I need to see everything. Did I take a picture of this stage? Hold on. I got to take a photo. That's important to like. Yes, I would love to see that. Oh, this looks nice and red. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, so it's only been like two minutes. So, yeah. I guess while it's been two minutes, tell us about that jollof rice. Like, what makes your jollof rice the best? <laughs> hey, I can't tell you my secret. <laughs> <laughs> that when the world hey, opens up, I, like I said, right? <laughs> Like I said, the base, this is literally what you use for jello fries too. Like the tomato, the peppers, the onion, the stock, the paste, everything. Okay. It just depends on who's making it, so. Oh, oh, so, you know, the, the hands are the secret sauce, everybody. That's what I got from that. Because I'm gonna try yeah, to make jello yeah. fries, but I'm not talking about it, because I don't need to, you know, get any of the, the backlash, because I don't need anyone to go. It's not Nigerian or it's not Ghanaian and, you know, I'm Jamaican, so I don't know where we fall in that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, just clean this up. Yeah, so Smoke. I guess while we're still waiting, I'm, I, yeah, I have my rice ready, like I said, and then I have the plantains already fried. Um, so you, so you can eat a lot of fried plantains too. Plantains? So normally when you do fried plantains with this, because for me, like it for Jamaicans, when we do fried plantain, it's the yellow sweet, like the, the riper the plantain, the better for us. So with this, are we yes. using the green plantain or the right plantain? The yellow plantain. So this one, right? Okay. So I gave everybody options if you want to have rice with it, if you want to have plantains. So now would be the time if you want to make a side to like put rice on or make some plantains while we wait. Um, Joanna, I'm going to ask you to check your pot and stir it a little bit. I'm on it. Oh, this smells so good, everybody. Oh, there's a battle already in the chat. I, hear, so I see that the roll off is the best. Okay. Well, we're going to have a battle after this. <laughs> okay, okay. okay, so this is what it looks like so far. It's looking good. Oh, yeah, that's it. And the goal is for it is for is for um it to dry up a little bit before we add the other stuff. Okay, so I'm going to leave my pot half covered, turn up my stove high, and yes. um I'm going to add to my beverage. Uh Rohan, I'm gonna make another one. Just let me just bring everything. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, had a whole situation here. Okay. Oh, Dwayne, I'm just seeing all your messages. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's okay. I have some leftover um, of the base. So here, pour it in. 
I need ice. That's important in life. Hey, hey. I open it's this up a little bit. Oh, they said suggestions have... uh, for the plantain. They said you can air fry plantain. I have never tried air fried plantain. Yes. Really? Actually, you can. <laughs> it comes out just as yep. good? Really? Like, this is the girl who I just need to give it a few more tries. Because I am used to, like, you know, like the way my mom would make stuff. I still make stuff that way. And my mom finally said, okay, I've had enough. You're going to have a Instant Pot. So now I use an Instant Pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I think for me, I have to give it another try. The first few times, uh, not so great. Wait, I don't add the, 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 um, the tomato paste yet, right? I'm still... I've been focused on my yeah. drying so much. We're still cooking this up. Okay. Yeah, we're still cooking this up until it dries up a little bit. <laughs> I was focused on my beverage. <laughs> it's very important. Yeah. <laughs> So just a little tip, if you don't have like the fresh stuff that we use, you could always get crushed tomatoes. Like I use the no name, but you could always get crushed tomatoes if you don't have the, the bell pepper, the fresh tomato, and you could always get the same like consistency, like texture from this. Yes, crushed tomatoes and um, they have crushed seasoned tomatoes. So do you want to get the regular? Crushed tomato. Uh, Sue said, Duena said, let me get another drink real quick. You know I am serious. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry? I see. Hold on. Uh, I'm just reading the chats to see. Do you burn your okay. jollof rice for added flavor? Naveen is asking that. Because <laughs> Burn the bottom of your rice pot. Like in Jamaica, we call that bun bun, just so we're clear. <laughs> Giving away well, all the secrets. Uh, I know people do that. It, it depends. Uh, oh, I'm just seeing the chat. Uh, Q asked me if there are any healthy oil suggestions. I would say you can use canola oil or the vegetable oil. So I use this. I don't think I should that. Um, sorry, one second. I use that, but you could always use canola oil or olive oil. Any one like you prefer. Okay. Olive oil I'm, is expensive, but canola oil is also good. So yeah, I use olive okay, oil I'm because check. I'm trying to be better in life. Yes, if you can get it, that I, I would definitely recommend olive oil, but it's a little bit expensive. So your next option should be canola oil, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, it's drying up really good, so. Yeah, mine is looking good. It's sizzling. Oh, I don't even, I don't own an apron, guys. Can you believe that? I don't own an apron. I feel like I should have an apron on, like, you know, a chef chef. It's okay. And I was very proud of my little chef term. I, I was proud of my mise en place. Just be, you know, I watch a lot of Food Network and I wanted to make sure my cuts were all the same size because I learned that while watching America's Worst Cooks. So, yes. We will get you one. Oh, thanks, Sue. Wow. You know, I just love Dujanae's house. And Dujanae has probably like 10 million aprons. I should have stole one. Dujanae's my sister, all. I'm not stealing from random people, stealing from a family. <laughs> oh, I see uh, avocado oil or olive oil as an option here. Right? A Chef Quest apron? Does it have donuts all over okay. it and chocolate? Wait, I have to give Chef Quest a shout out. Pause. I'm about to bring okay, something to uh, the screen. Wait, I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. Running back and forth. So I have to show while we're on, here. you know, Chef Man is mixing it up. 
Chef Quest is in the audience and she is a chocolatier and she hosted our Valentine's edible chocolate painting segment. And Quest, I still haven't eaten this because I just don't know if I start, I'm, I, I don't know how to start. But this is chocolate, guys. Look at this. Oh, that looks good. Made by Chef Quest herself. And <laughs> I'm probably gonna do this weekend, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Okay, Dwayne, you, you need to check your pot so it doesn't yes. burn. And speak right. at the bottom. <laughs> no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. It's looking okay, good. good. All right, so I I'm, I reduced the heat a little bit because it was too high. Now okay. I'm gonna add the tomato paste. I already washed out my spoon so I can use them again because I use them for the dry stuff. So I just wash them out. So tomato paste, so add the whole thing, right? Yes. And if you didn't add, if you didn't lighten yours up before, now you could always add. So I still have a little bit left in my plate. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water and wash it down. Bless you. Okay, tomato paste added. Okay. You can use that spoon now, like as your. Uh, like, Pardon? Hold on one second. I was gonna say you could either use this spoon as your tasting because you're gonna need to taste it for salt, pepper, and all the seasons. Can I confess to something? Yes. I never taste my food until it's in my plate. <laughs> what? I want to know how. Because I trust in what I do. <laughs> wow. I <laughs> the shade. Huh? The shade. Oh, there's no shade, but I'm no, honestly, I'm a really good cook. I really am. I love to cook. I I I can go somewhere and eat something and go home and probably recreate it. So I don't usually take my food. Like, no, it's good. I need you in my life then. You need to move now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I tasted mine. I'm just gonna add the rest of the Maggie. That's the bouillon cube. So I recommend you taste yours and ensure that it's good, like salt, pepper. I'm gonna taste it because Chef Cam said to taste it. That's right. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to add, I have um, a drumstick. So I'm gonna add that and my mm. stock is on the bottom. Okay. Let me tell you about that spice level. Woo. It's me. <laughs> Real good. Good, good kick. <laughs> okay. I'm here for it. I can hear my All husband right. going, oh, this is spicy, D. I I'm sure that's happening. <laughs> All right, so this is how it looks right now. Hold on, can you see properly? Okay. I'm gonna yes. Get in the wrong angle. Okay, there we go. No, you're All good. Right, you're so, good. okay, perfect. I'm adding the meat because I cooked it this morning. Because I tried to follow instructions. <laughs> I did just get like boneless, skinless chicken thighs because I figured dark meat would be good with it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, whatever you have and you're good with. I'll tell you that for sure. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Um, and I'll do, let's try. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Okay, so I just added um, two tablespoons of oil. And then I also, um, had parsley. Oh, okay. How much yeah, parsley? Because I have I, the fresh. I recommend it. You have the fresh stuff? That's fine. You could just toss it on like the top before you mm -hmm. put the pot. Mm -hmm. I like, see, I have the fresh stuff, but it was easier to show everyone using the dry one. Okay. And then what about the thyme? Thyme is my favorite, favorite herb. FYI, everyone. My favorite herb. 
I see uh, S. Soul Cody said, you should definitely taste your food as you go. You can change up the recipe in different ways by taste too. It helps with creativity and innovation to your own likings. I see Naveen says she definitely tastes as she cook. Um, then I see use discernment, but it's quite helpful before you sit down and not enjoy. No, 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 there's no not enjoy my household. <laughs> there's, there's none of that. <laughs> Lydia, I, I, I love good. your confidence. I'm going to need some people confident. on this chat to testify. I think Sue is on here, and Sue knows. I don't play around with food. I can cook. <laughs> but time yeah. is... Can okay. I put time? Do I put the time in now? Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I put mine earlier, but you can always put it now, too. Right. So I just sprinkled my parsley, um, one teaspoon of parsley, if you could see that. And I'm going to cover the pot again just to simmer down for another five to ten minutes. And it's pretty much done. <laughs> OK, let me let me um, take a photo. OK. Let me show you guys. What and it looks it's like. back on medium heat. Hold on, let me show everyone what I'm working with. Yes, I'd love to see that. That looks good. Yes, first time. I had a good teacher, good teacher. <laughs> I'll put the other half of my bouillon in because I kind of forgot. And then okay, I will. Oh, I think I'm probably going to make rice later, later, and I'm going to take my finished product Absolutely. photo. I want to see everybody's finished product. I need, I need you guys, when you're going to do this, I need you to make sure you tag us. If you do it later today, if you do it tomorrow, the recipe is here. And I think all of you have the email with the recipe. Make sure. I see. I like my fresh herbs added towards the end of your cooking too. Yeah, I do like have that nice aroma at the end, you know? Uh, Sue said, oh, Onisha's on here too. Onisha can testify about my cooking. She said that mac and cheese, I feel like there needs to be a DIY on that one. Y'all can't touch the mac and cheese. Yep. It's good. Real good. Ooh, drinking more. Where can you find this recipe, Sue? The recipe is in the reception. No, not in reception. It was in a registration, but I would have emailed it to you probably two or three times. So check your email. The photo is in your email that says recipe. Uh, everybody's trying to drive to my house for curbside pickup. This is not restaurant <laughs> Canada, and I do not do Uber Eats. <laughs> so I'm just stirring again so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. Yep, I turned mine so down. So just FYI, there's no... Okay, perfect. There's no like right or wrong. There's no like wrong time to add anything. If you forgot anything at the start of your cooking, you could always add it um, as you go, at least before you turn on the heat. So. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud. Okay. I can say that I've made Nigerian stew. I mean, I won't go to Nigeria and say that I've made Nigerian stew. I'll just say it outside <laughs> of Nigeria. Yeah. I don't need no I Nigerian mom looking at me great. sideways like, what's you? <laughs> yes. So I already started plating mine while the stew is cooking. So, Dwayne, this is what I have. That's the rice and that's the plantain. Oh. I'm going to finish it off like with the stew and I'll send you a picture. Yes. Okay. Look at us go. And what can you substitute <laughs> chicken for? I got a question here. Can you do substitutes in the stew? Do you only use chicken or what else do you normally use? Nope. You could use any meat you want. You could use beef, you could use chicken, any any part of the chicken you want. You can use turkey, you can use fish, uh, anything, honestly, that's a protein that you could possibly, <laughs> possibly add to it. Yeah. I am very interested in this with fish. I feel like it would have quite a flavor. So it depends on the type of fish too, because you probably want like a white fish that's really firm because it will hold up, right? What kind of fish, I see Sophia yeah. in here. What kind of fish do you normally use? Um, I would use a tilapia, so like a whole tilapia fish, and I would have it caught in maybe like four, mm -hmm. four portions. 
And I know fish is so delicate, so you have to um, always watch it so it doesn't stick on the bottom or like it cooks faster too, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to cook your base. Um, I would say season the fish before. Some people like to steam the fish a little bit before they add it to the stew. Definitely not as long as the chicken, but some people just add it to the stew and let it like cook in there. So it depends on what you want. Okay, I see salmon. I think salmon would be a good shot too. I don't know what palm fret is. Um, I, I'm a fan I of snapper. That's Maybe what it has I've a different eating. name. But it, has, it probably has a different name. But this is something I'm definitely going to try again. And okay, so if I try this jollof situation, I just make the same base and then I add the rice, right? And just, you know, pray a lot of love over it and then it'll be delicious. Yes, that's, that's exactly. I mean, you could even you could even make the rice. So like I have the rice here and you could just mm -hmm. mix it up and then cover it up to sit there on the pie for a little bit. So literally this is this is important, the base. <laughs> base. Okay, so the base is the secret everyone to Nigerian cooking. It's kind of like okay. It's kind of like how you do for the Louisiana cooking with the Holy Trinity. This base is what's important. Um <laughs> well, you know, you just got to request to host a cooking class on Hopin, FYI. So when you're ready to host a cooking class, I'll be a student. Sutanya will be a student as well. Because, you know, we want to... Okay, sounds good. Sutanya. I'm down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I love okay. cooking demos so because, you know, for me, the Food Network is my lullaby. I love a Food Network. Like, I can tell you all the shows. I, I love all the people. I love that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Bobby Flay is my guy. <laughs> love him. Oh, look, Brooke said she'd be a student as well. I see Allison said, my daughter just came in the kitchen and see what I was cooking. Allison, I can't wait to see. Oh, I see Muel says, uh, pray a lot of love, taking, praying a lot of love, taking note. Yep, that's right. Um, <laughs> ooh, Sue, that's on apple cider and bourbon. Yes, your apple cider is bomb, Sue. I, I, I still have to send you that note. Apple cider bomb. Uh, Brooke said, Dwayne, I watched the leftover show. So hilarious and creative. Yes. Yes, the leftover show is good. I mean, Beat Bobby Flay is still my show, but the leftover show is good. And America's Worst Cook is really good. I really don't understand how people can do the water. I don't get it. Um, oh, wow, Onisha, you'll just bring your containers. Got it. <laughs> yes, bring your own containers. I'm not giving you my Tupperware. Uh, Allison said, I have to learn about this jollof rice. I don't know anything about it. Allison, it is war. Let me tell you right now. It's a battle between Nigeria and Ghana. Don't tell one the other is better. Just eat from both. <laughs> you win in this situation. <laughs> Less than two minutes before we get kicked out. Well, actually, we're gonna like this. It's five twenty nine. Literally done. This has been yes, we're done. Actually. Everyone, please post your photos and make sure you tag Canadian Small Business Woman. Make sure you tag Pam's Cuisine, please, because I definitely need to see this. So, all your drink photos and all your food photos. And I cannot thank you all enough for supporting this event because we wanted to not only have some serious conversations, but we wanted to have some fun too. Because you know, Black History Month is not just about the real talk. It's also about celebrating black excellence. And Pam right here is black excellence because she just showed us how to make Nigerian stew and bring it all together because all <laughs> the cultures have an impact on Canada. We all have stews and we all bring it to the table or the country and everyone gets okay. to enjoy it. Pam, any final words? Um, no, I hope you enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, pre-order. Pam's Cuisine is launching officially March the 14th. So any questions, if you want to do like a cooking class or any catering whatsoever, send me a message or an email. That's awesome. It. Thank you, everyone. We'll have all the video replays. If I do some work tonight or tomorrow, they'll be all up on YouTube and I'll send all the registrants a link. But cheers to the weekend. Cheers to Black Excellence. Cheers <laughs> to some good eats and some good drinks. <laughs> That's right. Oh my gosh, everyone.